So I tried to do this several times in a short video and realized one of the things my angel told me earlier was that this is going to be a longer video. I think there are going to be some healers out there that are not going to come. They're going to have latent healing abilities. In other words, that maybe they've had a few experiences over their lifetime, but their real true helping abilities are not going to come out till later because then they'll have more of um, past experiences to help them make sense of it all, if that makes any sense. Um, I'm just feeling like that that's a message I need to put out there is that there are going to be some people who don't realize that they're healers or that they even have one little special gift, you know, that is going to be momentous or huge in helping others to realize their special gifts because we're all connected. All of us are part of humanity and all of us are needed. Guys, I, I just have been, I'm just thinking that there's going to be end up being such a battle between the light and the dark. And it's not going to be like, you know, like a book that you read that's, that's, um, like one of them Stephen King novels that's put on the screen where people are battling, you know, it's, it's or any other author or any other book that's, it's where it's, you know, the, the, you know, they're with swords and they're, you know, fighting these demons and all that. I don't think it's going to be like that. I think the fight between the light and the dark is, has a lot to do with humanity itself of how easy it is to do the wrong thing that we need to focus on doing the right thing to help heal people, to help, um, make a difference in the world. And I just think that when it comes down to it, the light and the dark is very subtle, but at the same time, it's screaming at us at the same time, if that makes any sense. That's just what I've been feeling. Um, I don't know, all day today, everything felt the energy for the, since yesterday, I've been feeling like kind of sluggish, kind of like my readings were, I, I did like, oh guys, between the past two days, I have done probably seven readings and they just were not clicking with me. They weren't making no sense. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? I'm like, normally I can at least, um, look and, you know, I'll start channeling or something. And it just feels like there was like a wall and I, I finally looked for guidance and I went to some of my favorite tarot readers, some some that I have that I had unsubscribed from quite a while ago. And I didn't I listened to some of the readings, but I went into the comments. I always go into the comments to see what other people, even those I know, those I don't know. I just look to see what other energies are there and what other people are feeling. And I saw quite a few of people that were going, What's going on? I've been just like crying or not feeling right. Um, or coming up, up like a, a brick wall. And um, Santa Santero on her Aries message a couple of days ago. She, yeah, I'm having trouble quitting smoking, guys. She actually said the path looked like it was becoming narrower. And I think that kind of explains what I felt like today. I actually, I did. I hit that wall she was talking about. Saying, we love you, honey. I don't know if I'm going to point this out on one of your videos or not. But you were just able to describe it in a way I can't. I'm not always as articulate as I would like to be. But I am just feeling like this subtle fighting of uh, or battle between the good and the bad, the light and the dark. Um, it's like, guys, there is a war going on. But it's just not like a physical war that you can see. It's a war between, on a spiritual level of people fighting to not want to fall into the depths of despair of wanting to keep their heads above water and do the right thing for the right reason while everything else around us is falling apart it's like one of those online games that you go to where you build your city and you build everything up and you you go around and you get all these points to help build your city, get the right people, get the right, you know, you know those games I'm talking about, right? I'm not a gamer, but I know back in the day, I remember when, um, whatever, what was that one that first came out, um, that people used to play that, um, had the, the fairy guy and the rubies and the, I can't think of what it's called, but, um, guys, it's like that. 
where it's 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 not so blatantly obvious it's more like a subtle thing going on and I'm still trying to figure out how to understand what I'm feeling and that's why I still sometimes you know I have told y'all before I you know looking at other tarot, tarot too many tarot messages can confuse you and when I'm feeling like I like I can't put a name to it and I've talked about this before where I have to go look and see where maybe somebody else can explain it and um MJ at Soulful Revolution explained something on one of her videos that she put out today. I think it was a whoever here needs to hear this message. And then Sand did a, um, a message for Aries and talked about the path getting narrower. Um, so, and I'm not really good at connecting the dots, but it made sense of what I'm feeling. So, I know I can't be the only one that the past two days have felt like it just felt like the energy, like, it felt like I was on an airplane that was going through the sky and suddenly started running out of gas and was stalling, you know? And then it just felt like all of a sudden, it just came to a complete stop in the air. Have y'all seen that video? There's a video on YouTube somewhere where these people are driving along, and from the angle, I guess they're going at the angle they're going at, it looks like the airplane is stuck in the sky and just sitting there. And I'm pretty sure it's, it, it's probably because it was just the angle that it was at. Um... Who knows, maybe in the Matrix, maybe that sucker was just sitting up there in the sky. And they were going through some kind of time warp or something. But at any rate, that's how it's felt for the past two days. And guys, I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm going to put it up tomorrow because it took me a while to unpack it. And I had to actually call a friend um, in Mississippi, one of my bestest friends. And her and I talked for a while. And I told her, I said, you know, I said, I've done, I did this reading two days ago. And I said, and I did a bunch of little readings, and I said, and nothing's coming. I'm like, I'm looking at my runes, and I've been, guys, I've done rune readings for 20 years. And I'm looking, and I'm going, this doesn't make any sense. Why am I not, you know, I mean, I felt like I was at a dead, a, a, you know, just a dead-end street at a wall. You know, looking at a wall, a, you know, a piece of paper going like a foreign language. And then this evening, after I called my friend, I sat down, and I just sat here, and I, I just... I just kind of like let go, surrendered, just said, you know, if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, I'll do another reading or I'll just wait till all of a sudden I get that, you know, them the angels popping me on the shoulder going, hey, hey, you know, go do this, you know. And then so after I called her, I sat here and I looked at and all of a sudden the messages started coming. Messages started coming, started coming. And I started going through it. And writing down everything I was thinking and feeling and going, this has got to make sense at some point. And then I realized I had current energies and then future energies and what we need to do with it and what the healers need to do with that energy and how to use that energy. And I even got some mixed messages there, but they kind of made more sense after I sat and I just waited for everything to channel to me to figure out what was coming to me. And I was like, because... I don't like to do reversals on my readings for the healers, but I had two of them, and I had turned them up right, and I said, okay, I'll just look at both sides of how a situation can be or what a rune can mean from um, from two different angles, from a straight-up message to a reverse message, and then all of a sudden, it just made sense. <laughs> so, but I had to just, like, block out anything and everything because I think I was letting in a lot of other emotions for myself, and I had to look at my reading and go, but this isn't about me. There may be a little bit of some stuff in there for me, but I wasn't focusing on that. I was focusing on the collective. And I'm like, you know, this is for the collective. Oh, I see. It's for the future. A lot of it's for the future. So, because there's like current energies, the future, and then on how to use the energies has to do with the first wave of people or the first torch bearers, the present ones now, but what it is that we need to teach the next wave and what they need to bring. So we're talking about the next generation. So guys, this is like a really lengthy reading. I'm going to do it tomorrow because I only have to go take care of my one lady tomorrow and the next day. So this is going to get put up tomorrow. But um, And I'm going to sleep with my runes under my pillow tonight and see if anything else comes, if I have any dreams 
or any other special messages because this message everything just kind of creeped forward just a little bit here a little bit there and then my ear went off tonight and it was i realized too tonight when my um ear was going off that one of my angels or spirit guides was talking to me and i always say i always say this one's a she but they really don't have a sex but it's just this really light little energy and she just comes in and she's and she's just real light her and it's just a really light frequency where i've actually had one uh, uh spirit guide come in every gray i mean i've had him come in like two or three times and it was like this real hard ring to it where it was like a where if it had been a voice of a person it would have been like it would have been some it would have been someone with a deep a deeper voice you know you've met women and men with deeper voices right so but this one is one that whenever this one talks to me it's a very i mean i have to actually stop everything i'm, I'm just like irk and just pay attention because if i don't i can't unpack anything that this this particular spirit guide or angel tells me because it is such a low frequency and by that i mean it's it's the way that they're communicating it's their communication that is a low key not that they're it's um something i can't pick up on or it's like you know how some people have high-pitched voices i have a high-pitched voice other people have a deep bass you know well frequencies are the same way to me that's how i pick them up so at any rate guys i just wanted to um talk about that a little bit um just these past two days this has just been i know i just did it and i also just uploaded a little short about uh the um, full moon in capricorn and my phone's a really crappy phone now so i really couldn't pick it up when i faced it but guys i have a beautiful short with the full moon in Capri um, capricorn behind me and it looks like a little dot but um i just wanted to share a couple of these little messages for you guys and that's that's um that's pretty much all i gotta say so um i hope this kind of made sense to y'all and i'll upload this message tomorrow i am in my 90s i'm getting ready to go my butt to bed and sky sky you ready to go to bed sky's like yeah i've been ready woman <laughs> so um i just wanted to share some of that with you guys and i think the world of all my subscribers or anyone that picks up on any of my messages and i here lately have just been feeling like some of my messages they're not going to make sense to some people now but I think some of my, my subscribers are right. I think they're going to make sense to people in the future. Maybe even after I'm gone. Because once it's out there on the web, it's out there. So, uh, it just feels like it's out there. I don't know. It just feels like it's so far in the future. I don't know, guys. It just feels like there's a war coming. And it's not. It's just a war that's going to get worse. I, I don't know. And it's not. It's, it's a spiritual war. It's not a... You know, people out there physically fighting, though, you know, during times of stress, like tornadoes and hurricanes and things, people do actually get out there and, and physically fight. I remember during Katrina, some gentleman in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, literally, his sister grabbed the last bag of ice that had been dropped off at a drop-off point for people that had been affected by the hurricane. And she wouldn't give it to him, and she, he was her brother. He had showed up, and he wanted the ice. She wouldn't give it to him, and he shot and killed his own sister over a bag of ice. So, guys, and that was just, you know, hurricanes come and go, tornadoes come and go, bad weather comes and goes. But as more and more homeless people pile up, as more things fall apart, especially in America, you're going to see more and more of that, and there's going to be more and more people needed to help those that cannot help themselves, those that are unawakened, those of us that are awakened, that are, are healers. You're going to have to be strong. You're going to have to guide others, and I've talked about it before, but there's going to be times when you're going to come across people that you're not going to like, but you're going to realize they have abilities to help other people, and you're going to have to get over yourself even if you can't stand that person, if you know they're generally trying to help someone, even if you don't agree with how they come across, how they communicate, there's going to be a lot of things you're going to see in the future that you don't like that have nothing to do with you or your feelings. It has to do with helping us as humanity survive. Going forward into the future, guys. That's my message for tonight. Lana Scott Lighthouse. If y'all like this video, like, subscribe, and share. Um, I've realized tonight I have more work to do on myself, and I have more things I need to 
sit down and think about. I had somebody around me one time that didn't do that. And he made me realize sometimes you have to think how you feel about things. I hope I can really be a help to you guys because I'm not going to be here forever. I'm 60 years old, but some of you younger folk, you're still going to be here and you're going to need anything and every kind of bit of help you can get. Good luck. I love you guys. Lana Scott Lighthouse.